Soldiers from the Army National Guard blocked the road into Butte La Rose Monday, keeping sightseers away. The folks who live here, though, are still allowed in to get their final loads of belongings or finish shoring up their property. In nearby Crotch Springs, which is expected to be one of the first communities to see water, even more soldiers were standing by and gearing up. We're hoping that it's all for nothing and that everything turns out well, but we're preparing for the worst. In addition to security, soldiers are also patrolling the levees looking out for any sign of weakness. This is what the guardsmen are looking for, but don't want to find sand boils. This one's actually about 100 yards from the levee. What it means is that water has actually soaked underneath the ground and is bubbling up here. It's a bad sign. This close to the levee, we're very interested in this. So what we do is we spot it, we mark it, we get a GPS coordinate to it. We call the Corps of Engineers and the levee board. They come out and look at it, and then they decide what, if any, mitigation they have to do. In this case, just a few sandbags were tossed on top of the small hole. More work may be needed later. For those who live here, the hardest part is the waiting and watching the water rise. It's now in Enio Perez's backyard, but he's not leaving. Not yet. When the water get over there to my house, that's the second when I get out of here. When the water get over there. So far, only a few homes have been flooded in Cajun country, including this street in Simsport. But the governor says more water is on its way, and people need to stay on guard. It is moving a little bit more slowly. In two to three days, it will be mingling with the water from the Atchafalaya. That we know that that is uh, predicted to overflow its banks, and so you will see that water inside the spillway. The water is still coming; it's just coming a little bit more slowly than originally projected. Rich Matthews, Associated Press, Simsport, Louisiana.